So hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, we will be natin yung Makeup Revolution Cosmetics. So on my husband's first paycheck, ito yung regalo niya sa akin. Iisa-isahin natin ang laman ng box na ito. 30 pounds lang siya um, from its original price of 60 pounds. And meron siyang pa sabog na you can never have too much makeup. I agree. Ayan, ganyan siya, guys. First, kasi meron ako nakita dito kanina na Aqua Prime... Ow. Kasi meron ako nakita dito kanina na Aqua Priming Base. Mmm. So, it's a spray. It's the Revolution Pro Prime Aqua Priming Base. Ang bango niya. In fairness, ang bango nito. Sabi nito, it's a stunning lightweight primer providing a perfect base underneath your primer. I'm gonna try the foundation, the fast base foundation stick. So my shade is F5. Swatch. Okay, now with the uh, Pro Prime Aqua Priming Base, lay ko siya sa aking sponge. Foundation stick. Wala rin siyang kaamoy amoy which is up. Okay, initial thoughts, very satin yung finish niya. Hindi siya masyadong full coverage. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm quite surprised kasi medium coverage siya pero ang ganda ng finish niya na parang skin mo pa din na just a bit, tiny bit, bit dewy. Pero ang ganda ng effect. Para kang you just have a healthy skin day, which is good for me. What I'm gonna do is the concealer. So, ito yung medyo mabigat-bigat yung tag nila. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define. So, yung mga nakikita ko actually sa YouTube sabi nila Tarte Tape Shape Duke Delta. So, okay, medyo medyo matapang yung amoy. Oh my gosh, guys. Ang ganda. Ang ganda ng concealer na to. Napakadaling i-blend. Hindi siya actually nagsisettle sa fine lines. But obviously, we will still see later. So, mag-highlight na rin ako, guys. Okay, guys. Mukha man ako multo ngayon. Pero I'm telling you, that concealer is very close to my Tarte Tape Shape. Tungs lang siya compared to my 28 pounds na Tarte Tape Shape. So now, I'm gonna try to contour using the Fast Base Stick Foundation as well. Kumula ako ng dark kasi parang hindi ko bet yung mga ibang pang contour na doon mga mamsh. Yan. So this is now in a shade F14. Actually, hindi ko alam ko yung mga claims nila eh, online with their foundation. Medyo dark siya sa akin sa pangang sa pangang ito. Let's see. Okay guys, I'm very happy with my base at the moment. Sobra akong shuket. Kasi hindi pinexpert na magiging ganto siya. Kaganda mag-perform. Will be the HD Pro Brows. Brows and this is how it looks like. 
lash ang mirror but that's fine. So meron kang apat na shades ng uh, brow powder and then you also have two shades of um, wax brow. So this is lighter and dark brown. Then you also have here, I think para to sa highlights sa brow bone. Then there's also one powder, a wax, and then a bit like a balm feel. Ating mga kilay. Itong wax nila, napaka-konti. Nasa gitna pa, so hindi ko alam ko paano kayo sasigit ito. Pero, nakita yun yung wax. So as you can see, yung aking kilay ay talagang very very bushy at the moment. Kasi, gusto ko talaga siyang mag-grow. I will try to use first itong wax na brow uh, shade. Hindi ko alam kung anong shade siya. Pero wala kasi siyang mga shades. Tapos itong lighter. And dito sa mga brown powder, I will try to get the darkest. So I think this is the darkest one. And then, meron sila dito parang concealer. I think para kasi dun sa paglinis ng eyebrows. Hindi ko masyadong depth itong pang parang concealer nila. Masyado siyang maputi, but it's not too bad. Tapos na tayo sa brows. Actually, I forgot to set my foundation earlier. So, I have here the Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana Shade. I actually have this already for quite some time now. So, yung ating under eye, lalo na magpo-proceed na tayo sa ating eye makeup. So, we have here the Focus and Fix Eye Primer. So, let's see. Dahil ito sa ating eye makeup. Might as well make an eye primer. So, this is how it looks like. Ganyan siya. I'll just use my finger. So yung feeling niya hindi siya very tacky unlike the other eyeshadow um, I have used before. Okay guys, so they have two palettes on the box. They have the Ultra Metals Eyeshadow Palette and they also have the Ultra Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. Then I think meron din silang Color Explosion Palette. So, hindi ko ito masyadong bet kasi napakadami yung colorful. Maybe we'll play with it some other time kapag ako ito mga ibang makeup tutorial but not for today. Actually, on the box, they have these uh, Pro Go Brushes 2018. But it looks like this. So, very maliit lang siya. I'll try to see kung meron ako paggagamitan kahit nito malaking brush. For the rest, hindi ko ito masyadong bet. So, that's why I use my own brushes. I have there the Ultra Neutrals Eyeshadow Palette. Kulay niya. Let's just try to swatch some. Ayan siya. Color payoff is not as... Ito. Itong, kasi wala siyang color shades. But this one, the lightest, which is all over our lid. color na parang taupe, taupey brown. So far, so good. Ito na siya. Ganda yung color payoff niya, but obviously, kailangan nyo nga lang siyang dagdagan. Um, buildable naman, although sa unang paglagay, hindi siya masyadong kitabal. And then next, we will use this 
dark uh, brown na parang meron siya pagka burgundy. Yung kanyang undertone. So this is how it looks like. So meron din siyang mga shimmers and all that stuff. That's how the shimmers, just some of the shimmer shades. Brush. So I picked this gold, um, not really gold, this one. So itong shade na to. Very nice actually, kapag binasa natin siya, mas um, nag-amplify yung pagka-metal niya and glitter niya, which is really good. And then using a detailed brush, a detailed brush, this small detailed brush, kuha kaya nito um, mga medyo lighter uh, glitter shades. So, spray natin siya ulit. for the inner corners. This as well. Kunting glitter lang din dito sa eyebrow. Pero hindi ko na siya lalagyan ng spray kasi oo ay na siya sa ating tabs. Kunti lang din. I'll just put some lashes and then proceed to the rest of our face. Okay, so we are done with the eyes. So I just put some normal na eyelashes and then I just put some very affordable one pound na eyeliner. So that's it. Now we are done with the eyes. I just put some eyelashes. So unfortunately, wala siya ng contour powder. So hindi na tayo makakapag-set na ating cream contour. So hayaan na natin yan. Proceed na tayo ngayon sa ating blush on. The Blush Dream Palette. Meron siyang four na different pink undertones na blush. Tapos meron siyang parang medyo may shimmer. Um, apat din. Pero I think ito pwede na siyang highlighter. Ito parang baked na blush on. I might use I might combine this and the light one. So, kinakabahan ako kasi baka masira ko yung maganda ko ng makeup. Sponge. So far, not liking it. Next is, try natin mag highlight using this shade, which is kinakabahan din ako. So let's try first itong medyo very powdery siya. Let's see. Good. So, 
So far, hindi ko bet tong palette na to. Meron din kasi silang mga iba pang pang-highlighter. They have the Ultra Strobe Cream. Tube. Tube. Hindi ko alam kung paano siya na strobe. Okay guys, hindi ko alam kung paano siya na strobe. Pero para siya siguro dapat primer siya kung gusto mo magkaroon ng dewy na finish sa foundation mo. Which, hindi ko na siya ilalagay kasi baka mamess up yung aking makeup. I think it's too late for this. Pero, we'll try next time. I think, yeah, I think this Ultra Strobe Cream is for... That's why it says, Makeup Revolution Strobe Cream provides the most subtle and natural illumination and highlighting for the skin. Wear in targeted areas to bring strobe highlighting effect for all over for an illuminating taste. So, it can be worn underneath makeup or top for extra highlighting. Next, we have here the Ultra Strobe Balm Palette. As sure you can see. So, iba-iba yung pagka shade niya. Merong gold undertone. Merong yellow. Merong silver white. Medyo may pagka mild gold. Merong pink. Um, I think I'll go with the gold this time. Uh, may siyang lip sheer, lip amplification, and lip euphoria. Guys, ang hirap niyang kuanin doon. Baakit? Halos lahat ng products ng Makeup Revolution, wala siyang amon. So, para po tayong kulang sa sustansya. Sa sustansya nito, so, try natin ipatong yung um, pink na lip application. Hindi ko talaga. Okay. Ito, bad, bad din lahat. So, siguro pwede ko siyang ilagay sa um, red or pink na talagang very, very opaque. Tapos, sabi mo siyang lip gloss on top. Pero, yung ganito guys, I don't know kung masusok ko siya ng by itself. Kasi parang, parang hindi ako pinakain. Last step is the makeup fixing spray. So, I suppose this is now our finishing spray. So you shall hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from your face and spray a light mist to make sure eyes are closed, product or dry naturally. 8 to 10. Hindi ko alam 8 to 10 to, pero let's do it. Mm. Yung amoy niya, hindi kasi yung bango nung um, face priming. Tagal. But overall, I'm actually very much surprised and um, I'm very quite happy with how it turned out. Kasi maganda yung eye makeup, maganda naman yung face products, obviously apart from the strobe cream and the blush on. But the rest are all wearable and workable and I think with this affordable price, it's really a good thing. So, Makeup Revolution, great job. Okay, and I think that's it for this video, guys. Please, if you like it, 
please do subscribe to my channel if you wanna try it and then yun, at least kahit papano nagkaroon kayo ng idea. I'm not sure if Makeup Revolution is actually available in the Philippines. Wala akong idea. Pero tinry ko siyang research and um, I think you'll be able to order them online but obviously you just have to be careful na hindi kayo ma-scam ng mga bogus online. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you again on my next video and have a good day.